Hey, welcome to Joe's Multiverse. I'm Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to open an action figure. The fun way. Now, we've all opened many, many action figures. It's a part-time job for some of us, but I have a variety of action figures here, and I got one or two that are out of the box already, but I want to do something fun, and the fun part about it is not only finally opening an action figure that we've had in the package for a while or hurrying home after purchasing one and then getting it out and finally having this action figure that we've been wanting for a while in our hands having it to be a tangible thing start to play with it start to pose it but some of us only collect one or two lines here at Joe's Multiverse, I collect a bunch of different ones, and that's gonna be part of the fun. We're gonna open a bunch of different ones and take a closer look at these. So let's dive down here and get a closer look. All right, let's start opening these up. We got a Power Ranger. We have a Tusken Raider Star Wars Black Series. We got a Cobra Viper, Triple H, an awesome Iron Man, and a Mortal Kombat. Shao Kahn. So let's get into this guy. I was very excited to open this up and uh, get him up on the desk. I have, I think, a couple of these Tusken Raiders. Now, the funnest part is funnest a word? It is today. The funnest part about opening new figures is opening new figures is getting them out. Ooh, he's heavy. Oh, this is cool. Okay, well this guy, he's got um, <clears throat> some nice cloth goods on him, but then his under uh, robe and stuff is this plastic, which gives him a nice heavy uh, feeling, plus the really nice um, soft, soft, soft goods you know, look to him too. So that is very appealing. That I, w I didn't really realize that until I had him in my hand. And he's got that, I don't know, what would you call that? A satchel belt or not a satchel, but um, it's almost like a uh, Tuscan Raider uh, utility belt. And then he's got his uh, cross thing going on there. And then the classic look. This is, this is, this is so nice. Maybe I haven't taken a close look at this, but it, it's almost like it's a new sculpt. Maybe it's just new to me, but this is really, really cool. I'm gonna get um, these uh, extra things out because I really wanna get those in his hands, but I wanna get this uh, pink Power Ranger out of here. And I really gotta get into the habit of opening my figures more and not just keeping them in the box because I can't have any fun with these action figures, really unless we take them out and this is a beautiful figure maybe i am just a sucker for pink it could be a hotter pink a brighter pink that's kind of that's kind of what i dig but i love this look at that look at that on the on the side of her there there we go see that and that's kind of a sculpt too those aren't just paint lines that's uh that's really really neat I love her helmet. Been real particular about the uh, Power Rangers that I buy. So we got her. Let's, uh, what the hell, let's go ahead and open this Viper. This G.I. Joe Cobra Viper. The elusive G.I. Joe figure. Which most of them are. And this comes with a whole bunch of great accessories. Look at that. It's not feeling quite, well, I don't know. Maybe I was just surprised on how kind of heavy he felt the weight of him, but this one's, you know, pretty uh, pretty similar in the way that he feels. You, you always uh, feel like you have something that's a little, a little better quality when it's heavy. You remember that scene in uh, the first Jurassic Park when that guy said to the kids when they picked up the, them goggles or whatever that was and he said is it heavy and they're like yeah and he's like that means it's expensive that means it that means it's expensive put it down <laughs> but you know the weight of something really um 
gives it kind of more of a quality feeling, if you know what I mean. Let's get Triple H out of here. I'm excited about this. I, I, I guess I wouldn't feel too bad about keeping him in the box, but you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta release, release the action figures. And this is fantastic. We got some extra hands for triple here. Got a regular hand and then a taped up hand. Got the water bottle, can't forget that. That is cool that it comes with that. I don't have any water bottle accessories. Kind of having a hard time getting that out. We got the Cerebral Assassins Sledgehammer. Triple H was one of my all time favorite wrestling characters. All right, we got that mess cleaned up. Let's crack open this Iron Man. I've had him in here for a little while. Boy. Well, the only way to do it is to do it. This is a fantastic Iron Man. Yeah, look at him. Just gorgeous. And here's the one I'm really, really excited about. And that's this Shao Kahn. This is, um, this seems like a kind of a heavy figure too. I mean, he should be. A, I almost think he should feel even a little heavier, but very excited about this figure. Don't have a whole lot of the Mortal Kombat figures, but I definitely wanted to get this guy the gold and silver and and uh, the paint apps on this. This is this is really cool. This is a, a fantastic looking figure. I don't know what the articulation particularly is, but this isn't a figure review. This isn't uh, being critical. Um, on articulation. Knees are a little stiff though. <laughs> um, but we're just, we're having some fun here. And then I also didn't get the chance to take a look at Wonder Woman. So we'll put her in the mix. Didn't, uh, didn't get to her in the, the other uh, video, but um, she'll fit right in. And then I'm gonna have to throw in a He-Man. So we'll crack open Zodak. So we'll have Zodak and we'll get him in the mix. All right, let's uh, get all these figures together here on the review table and uh, see how they all look. Well, I got them all lined up here. What a bunch of fantastic characters, a bunch of fantastic figures. We got this awesome cent Centrion. Is that how you pronounce that? This uh, Walgreens exclusive Iron Man. Got his blast repulsors going on there. This beautiful pink Power Ranger. We all need some female figures, some female characters to have a nice balanced collection but I just I really I really like that I think she's gonna look good with the the Power Ranger villains that I have and the Green Ranger and then of course we got Zodak the masters of the universe a he-man figure I didn't want to just put he-man in here I wanted to grab a he-man um, character that we don't normally talk about or see too much in this uh, this Zodak is awesome so happy that I have him and then oh the hot button topic of the GI Joe classifieds but what is a figure collection nowadays is not complete unless you got some sort of GI Joe at least I think most of us collectors have at least a a Duke or a roadblock or one of those guys but here we got the Viper that's awesome what, what an eclectic looking collection we got going on here. This is this is the fun of it. We want to, just because they don't all scale perfectly doesn't mean that we can't enjoy them, have some fun. We got big old triple. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep him standing there, center of attention with his arms out. 
And then Wonder Woman. I love this Wonder Woman figure. It is cool, it is different. I just ordered the regular Wonder Woman. Um, and I think they're gonna look fantastic on the shelf next to each other. A couple different versions. I like I like a lot of different uh, different variants of stuff. And then this awesome looking. This is the newest addition to my action figures. This is the the one that I bought yesterday, and he looks great. I'm gonna have Raiden up there with him, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have him up there next to the Mortal Kombat spawn or not, but uh, I think with Raiden and maybe a Scorpion and those kind of uh, other characters, I think he'll look. Uh, I think he'll look fantastic. And then let's throw a goofy. Fortnite character in here just for fun just to just to round it out and this is one that you see quite a bit on the on the foosh but um I like this this character I like this figure too I think it I think it's funny and so we'll we'll put him in there if we can balance him come on cheeseburger face all right oh man this is, this is quite the array. And they're all standing pretty good. I'm happy with that. Put her up there. And then we need the G.I. Joe. It's making sure everybody's behaving themselves. Ah, look at all these. Now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight figures, eight different lines. We got the DC Multiverse, He-Man, Power Rangers, Fortnite, Wrestling. Uh, what would you consider that? Just a Todd McFarlane, McFarlane Toys. We got a Marvel Legend and G.I. Joe. I think the only thing that we're missing out of uh, figures that I collect is probably a NECA. But I think that uh, our table is full right now. And I think this, um, this will do nicely. And this is just a fun thing to do with your figures especially if you have a bunch that you haven't opened yet and just because they don't scale just because they're not you know from the same line doesn't mean you can't throw them up there you can always have them separated by different shelves all your gi joe's on one all your power rangers all your neck on another one you know but it doesn't really matter because it's you know it's your collection this is my collection we can do however we want this is this is uh the way that we can make our own universes at home and this is joe's multiverse so we have a multiverse of figures and characters here so this is awesome but i just want to thank everybody for joining me just to take a look at these figures i love being able to open up figures with all of you with my flcers and uh, share this experience share my passion i want to know what you guys think fill up the comic comment uh, section like i know that you always do so we can start a conversation about this stuff and so i can see what you guys are thinking and if anybody has um a bunch of these uh, different figures let me know well until the next time we look at a bunch of figures and enter the multiverse i will see you later